Hello everybody and welcome to the rant. I am Drunk Farmer and yeah, it's been a while. Um, first off, um, I just got done doing my rant college pickup show. It is Wednesday and yeah, it's been a couple of days. I would like to talk about, let me get comfortable here. Ugh. I'd like to talk about the hiring of Matt Rule. My little, you know, maybe my take on it as you know monday matt rule was hired as the university of nebraska head coach and as i come on today i got some bad news before i get to matt rule um bill bush is no longer with the university of nebraska which in my opinion kind of sucks i wish he would have kept bill bush but unfortunately bill bush was was let go and um I wish to take Bill Bush for what he did. He turned around to special teams here at Nebraska because, let's face it, the last few years, our special teams sucked. But this year, uh, Bill Bush turned them around, and they were a lot better than they were in the last few years. They were. So good luck to Bill Bush wherever he may land, um, and thank you. Um... One other thing, hopefully Matt Rule keeps Mickey Joseph. I've said this before, he's a great asset to any program. Mickey Joseph has expressed his feelings and staying with the program, and hopefully he will stay. Hopefully, because if he gets rid of Mickey Joseph, some people are not going to, some people are not going to be happy. Let's just put it that way. Um, getting to Matt Rule. Some people were for this hire. Other people were against it. Matt Rule, as a college head coach, is known as a builder. Can he rebuild this program? That's a good question. Can he rebuild this program? I, As for myself, I'm going to be optimistic about it. To tell you the honest truth, I'm not going to be on anybody's bandwagon or anything like that. I'm going to stay in the middle and just see how things go. Let's just see where this train's gonna take us, okay? Like I said, Matt Rule is a builder. It's probably gonna take a few couple years to rebuild this program, so I guess we have to be patient, but right now Nebraska fans are not patient. <laughs> they haven't been patient in a while, to tell you the honest truth, because we were so spoiled with winning programs over the last few decades with Tom Osborne but now we're under a new regime and we just got to see where this train's going to take us about the season of 2023 I'm not going to be too f I'm how, how can I put this I'm not going to be too enthused by it let's just put it that way I don't think we're going to be an, a great team next year. I think Matt Rules will be starting to rebuild that program next year. And I think next year is going to be, you know, everybody's going to be yelling and raving and being pissed off and saying, why did we hire Matt Rule, blah, blah, blah. But like I said, it's going to take a couple of years to rebuild. So we have to be patient, folks. I mean, that's all there is to it. Did Trev Alberts make the right decision? We'll see. Let's just put it that way. I mean, we'll see if he did make the right decision. Like I said, there's a few people out there who felt that this hire wasn't all that great. But, like I said, I'm going to be optimistic about it. Matt Rule is walking into a dumpster fire. Let's just face that fact right now. Not as bad as when he took over at Baylor. Baylor's program, when he walked into that program, that was a complete, well, a, pretty much a force fire. That program was really screwed up with all the bullshit that went on down there. And Matt Rule walked into it, and look what he did to Baylor. He turned that program right around. Temple, I don't know anything about Temple's program, but all I know, when he walked into that program, that was pretty much a dumpster fire, but I don't know all the politics in that program. But I do know one thing. The Baylor program was really, really 
God, it was just horrible. It was. But he turned it around. But he's not kind of he's not walking into a program like that. Um, Nebraska's program, yes, it is a dumpster fire. But there is talent in this cabinet. And I just want to see what kind of player development, which that's been a big part of it and a big question. I'll get that in a second. What's he going to do with all this talent? Hopefully he can bring this talent together, coach these guys up, and bring the talent together and flourish. And hopefully get these, and these guys will start to get it. I think he's that type of coach. He's a well-rounded coach. He's coached on both sides of the ball, which that's a plus. And at his news conference, one thing did stick out. He said he wants to start at the line of scrimmage. Great. Thank you. At least somebody acknowledges that our line of scrimmage, the defense, not so bad. I think the defense was okay at the line of scrimmage. They just need a little depth. Our offensive line, yeah, they totally sucked this year. They just absolutely sucked. They were terrible. Couldn't run block worth the shit and couldn't pass block worth the shit. It was terrible. Poor Casey Thompson was running for his life. He didn't have time to set up. Anthony Grant in the run game, it wasn't there. It was, it just wasn't there the last few games. If you watch the last few games, you know what I'm talking about. Anthony Grant just couldn't find any holes, couldn't do anything. There were guys in the backfield the minute he got the ball. Hopefully, Mark Rule can solve that problem. And it's going to start with strength and conditioning. Our strength and conditioning program absolutely sucks. It has over the last few years, and it has shown. It has shown over the last few years how bad it has gotten. Mark Rule has brought in a strength and conditioning coach, and this guy is chiseled. I mean, I don't see an ounce of fat on this guy. This guy is built. And hopefully he can get this strength and conditioning program back on track. So and he's probably got an uphill climb on that one, but good luck. Player development. Yeah, that our player development sucks over the last few years. It sucked. It's, it, it's shown this year with some of the backups we had in this year. It has shown our player development, our quarterback development, every part of that football team player development has absolutely sucked. And hopefully we can turn that around because I, there's talent there, like I said, and we can turn the development, player development around. I think this would be a good team. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers. Knocking on wood. <laughs> Matt Rule needs to coach these guys up, like I said. But well, it's going to take a couple years. It is going to take a couple years. Like I said, the 2023 season is not going to be all that great. Yeah, I'm going to rant and rave about it. And I know a lot of people are going to be yelling and screaming about it. And said, why did we hire this guy? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm probably going to say the same thing. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you about that. But, like I said, I'm going to be optimistic about it. And see where this program is going to go in a few years. Hopefully up. Because right now, we're at the bottom of the barrel. We are. And the only way is up, folks. So, let's see what Matt Rule can do. Let's see if he can rebuild this program. And I would like to say I'd like to see some of us be more optimistic about it. But Nebraska fans are, are just tired of losing. Their, their patience are very... I don't think we have any patience anymore, to tell you the honest truth. I know I don't. I know some of you don't either. But... Let's get some. Let's have some patience and see where this program goes in a couple of years. Because, like I said, it's going to take time to rebuild this program. And he and Coach Rule has said that himself. He says it's going to take time. So he wasn't really bullshitting about that. So, like I said, let's see where this train ride is going to take us. That's all I have to say about it. Like, share, subscribe. If you have a comment, leave a comment. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Um, if any news that's 
when catches my attention, I will rant about it. But in other stuff, I will put up on my Facebook wall. If no one knows my Facebook wall, go to Facebook and look up my real name, Greg Hamilton with one G. If not, you can go to my Twitter account at hashtag one drunk farmer. So here we go. Like, share, subscribe. Like I said, and just remember everyone, I am not a professional. I'm just a fan and we'll see you when I see you. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later. So long, everyone.